we'll be going over the IRS uh, interactive tax assistant tool that helps taxpayers determine whether or not scholarship, fellowship, or education grants should be included as income when they file their income tax return. Uh, generally, uh, scholarships, fellowships, and, and education grants would not be considered taxable under most circumstances. However, if you received more in benefits than what your qualified education expenses were, then you may be liable uh, to report the rest, the remainder, uh, as income. So if you, if you attended more than one educational institution, like if you graduated from undergraduate school in the spring and then used uh, the fall semester to go to graduate school at a different university, uh, and the funds that were, were used for expenses other than qualified education expenses, you may need to do this twice for each institution. So you're going to need information about the type of educational assistance that you received, the terms of the scholarship uh, as it relates to what expenses the funds could pay for. Uh, you'll need what types of expenses were paid from the funds that you received. And then you're gonna need records uh, with time frames of when you attended school. So uh, this interactive tax assistant is supposed to take about 15 minutes. We'll walk through and we'll see, we'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and begin. Uh, generally, our first question is going to be which tax year. So since we're recording this in, a, in the middle, well, in the late 2023 tax year, uh, year the most recent information available is for 2022. Generally, I don't think that there's a whole lot of significant change between 2022 and 2023, but if you're using this now in 2023, you should run it again when the 2023 uh, version becomes available. So let's go ahead and select the 2022 tax year. So the first question is, did you receive any of these types of educational assistance? Scholarships, fellowships, or need-based grants? So let's say that you had scholarships and fellowships, uh, but you didn't have a reduction in tuition. Uh, were you a candidate for a degree at an eligible educational institution? Uh, so we'll say yes, but I also want to uh, point out something. So you see these blue fields right here or the blue highlighted text. Anytime you see this in the interactive tax assistant, you can click on it for uh, more, more information about that. So what does a candidate for a degree program uh, mean? So if you're attending in a primary or a secondary school, or if you're pursuing a degree, or if you're attending an educational institution that provides a program towards a bachelor's degree or higher, and it's authorized under state or federal law, and it's accredited. So that's what a candidate for a degree means. So you can select on these at any time. An, edu an eligible education institution is one whose primary function is the presentation of formal instruction, maintains a regular faculty and curriculum, and has a regular, uh, normally has a regular uh, en enrolled body of students. So we'll say that yes. So uh, what portion of your scholarship or fellowship or grant was required to be used for purposes other than tuition or course related expenses? So what that would mean non-qualified education expenses such as room and board, travel, research, clerical assistance, or equipment and other expenses that weren't required for enrollment. So you can select all, part, or none. So let's say part of it. 
Were the was the scholarship, fellowship, or grant used to pay for qualified education expenses, non qualified, or both? Well, let's take a closer look at what qualified expenses might have been might have looked like. So, this includes tuition and fees, and then course related expenses such as fees, books, supplies, and equipment. So let's say we had some qualified and some non-qualified. So what portion of the scholarship, fellowship, or grant was a payment for services? Uh, so that means you were basically supposed to do something in uh, payment for teaching, research. So let's just say that none of this was. So you would include your scholarship, fellowship, or education grant as income uh, on your tax return, uh, at least the portion that was not used for qualified educational expenses. So the part that was designated for anything other than tuition or course-related expenses has to be included in income. And you would report this on the wages line of your tax return if you're filing a return on paper and the taxable amount was not on a W-2, you would write SCH and then the taxable amount in the space to the left of the wage line. You would include the amount on the wage line. Now let's go back and if we said all of this uh, you was payment for services, would that change it? All right, so exceptions. Did you receive an educational benefit under the National Health Service uh, Core Scholarship Program or the Armed Forces Health Professions Scholarship and Financial Assistance Program, basically medical school. Um, so let's say no. So you would include this on in income because uh, this was re, uh, your scholarship or your fellowship or your grant was received for service the, that you were required to perform. So the payment for service would be included as wages on your tax return. So let's say none of this, all of this went to tuition and course related expenses. And they were all qualified expenses. So in this case, because everything went to qualified education expenses, uh, then this would not be taxable and you would not need to include it in income. Okay, so one thing that I recommend for everyone is that you uh, take this uh, review screen right here at the bottom. This lists all of the questions that we just went through and answered. If you print it out and go through it line by line uh, and compare it to the facts as you know them, uh, go back if you need to to make any adjustments and then once you have all of the answers that make sense based on your uh, situation uh, keep this in your records uh, that way if when you file your tax return you need to refer to it you you, you have this ready and, and then if you're audited down the road by the IRS and you're asked questions about your scholarship uh, you can refer to this it's not legal advice, it's not tax advice, and it's not an official document. However, this uh, you can refer to this uh, as documentation that you were using uh, to establish your tax position. And as long as you weren't negligent or reckless or just completely disregarding the tax rules, if there is an adjustment, uh, you're more likely to get the benefit of the doubt that it was an honest mistake and not a careless or a reckless or a negligence related mistake uh, because penalties can be imposed on you by the Internal Revenue Service if an examiner believes that you are just completely disregarding the tax uh, code and doing whatever you wanted. You can actually be liable for a lot more penalties than just the taxes that you would have that, that you would owe. So this will help you 
even though it's not an official document and it's not legal advice, it's not tax advice, and it's not binding on the IRS. It's simply a self-help tool that, that taxpayers can use to kind of, kind of guide them in the right direction. So um, when we, uh, in our show notes, we, we've put together uh, quite a few videos and articles about various tax forms and other topics related to uh, higher education expenses. So we'll include those in the show notes and uh, we, you know, for you to refer to. Uh, some of those include articles that we've written on certain tax forms that may be relevant to, uh, to your tax returns. So uh, we'll put all of those links in the show notes. You can also go to our website, uh, go to teachmepersonalfinance.com. If you're looking for a specific tax form, type in the name of the tax form and odds are pretty good that we've written an article about it. So uh, if you like our articles, please subscribe to our newsletter. And if you like our YouTube videos, please subscribe to our channel. And if there's uh, a topic or a question that you would like us to cover in a future video, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you very much and have a great day.